Hey, what's going on everyone? This is your boy Juan again, and I'm back at it with another video. This time, we're gonna do the unboxing, first look at the highly anticipated Xbox One X. Now, the Xbox One X is Microsoft's latest console after the regular Xbox One and after the Xbox One S. So first of all, let's talk about what comes in the box. The Xbox One X comes with a regular black Xbox controller. It comes with the usual instruction manuals and two months free of Xbox Live Gold. Lastly, but most important, the Xbox One X. The Xbox One X is Microsoft's latest console running at full 4K. The Xbox One S also ran at 4K, but more than anything, the Xbox One S was upscaling the games up to 4K. The difference between the Xbox One S and the Xbox One X is that the X is actually running games at full 4K at 60 frames per second. So what do you need to take full advantage of the Xbox One X? First of all, you are going to need a 4K television that also runs HDR. HDR is high dynamic range, which gives you wider whites, darker blacks, and basically just makes the image pop a lot more than without the HDR. For my gaming setup, I have my Xbox hooked up to a Samsung Curve 65 inch 8 series 4K UHD HDR television. If you already have an Xbox One S, but you have a 4K TV that's HDR compatible, then you should definitely switch to the Xbox One X. Now, although I don't believe that you should get an Xbox One X if you don't own a 4K TV, the Xbox One X processing power should still benefit you if you decide to hook it up to a regular HD 1080p TV. You will still get the benefits from all the processing power under the hood. That means faster load times, improved texture filtering, and faster frame rates. Okay, so now let's point out some key differences between the Xbox One S and the Xbox One X. Let's start by talking about the price. The Xbox One S is starting at $229 for the one terabyte, the Xbox One X is $499 for one terabyte of storage. Now, the Xbox One X is a bit smaller than the Xbox One S, but is 15% heavier. The Xbox One X has a black finish throughout the whole device compared to the white Xbox One S. I personally like the white on the Xbox One S compared to the all black finish on the Xbox One X. The Xbox One S stands out a little bit more than the X, but they are both beautiful consoles. The Xbox One X crammed four times the GPU power into a smaller box. The vents on the Xbox One X are on the side compared to the Xbox One S, which are on top of the device. The Xbox One X is 30% faster with 2.3 gigahertz and the eight core processor. The Xbox One S is clocking at 1.7 gigahertz, which is a lot slower. GPU power on the Xbox One X is at six teraflops compared to the Xbox One S 1.4 teraflops. The Xbox One X has 12 gigabytes of RAM compared to the Xbox One S eight gigabytes of RAM, but both consoles straight from Microsoft will top you off at one terabyte of storage. The inputs in back of the device are exactly the same which is nice, if you own the Xbox One S, you basically just have to unhook the S and hook up the Xbox One X exactly where your older inputs used to be at. Okay, so let's talk about the exciting part, the games. As of the fourth quarter of 2017, Xbox has over 100 games optimized for the Xbox One X. Xbox One X exclusives like Gears of War 4 and others come optimized out the box for the Xbox One X. On other older games, you should be able to download a patch which should optimize them for 4K rendering. Now, games optimized for the Xbox One X do take a lot of memory. These Xbox One X optimized games are taking on average about 80 to 100 gigabytes of storage. So I do recommend that you get an external drive for your X. Once you download six, seven games, that should almost max out your capacity on the X. So I do suggest, like I said, 
to get an external drive and that should also relieve some of the memory from your Xbox which will help it run a lot smoother. Now games optimized for the Xbox One X are taking full advantage of the processing power on the device. You will be getting better graphics, more detail, better textures, smoother gameplay and faster load times. The games on the Xbox One X running at 60 frames per second look amazing guys. I've played Gears of War and FIFA on the Xbox One S before optimizing for the Xbox One X and let me tell you guys that there's a huge difference. And overall it will be a step up on your gaming experience. It might not be as drastic as switching from an old generation console to a newer generation console but the difference is clear. Now if you're not sure if your games will be optimized for the Xbox One X, Microsoft has a list and a tab on the Xbox store we should be able to tell you if your games are optimizable to 4k I think that this comes very handy for everyone who has a library of older games on the S and will wish to upgrade to the X but is afraid that their games will not take full advantage of the 4k resolution now one thing that I forgot to mention was to make sure that your 4k TVs inputs are set up for 4k HDR on a lot of TVs you have to manually go into the menu and set up each input to run at 4k and HDR that is very important you don't want to hook up your Xbox to an input which does not support 4k and HDR so make sure you check that out guys your Xbox One X is also able to tell you if your TV is compatible with all the Xbox One X features so the million dollar question is, should you buy the Xbox One X? The Xbox One X is for new Xbox owners or gamers who are looking to upgrade to 4K gaming on the 4K television. The regular Xbox One or the Xbox One S should work just fine if you are just looking to enjoy great games but you're not too big into 4K gaming. Overall the Xbox One X is a great buy at $499 Xbox crammed a lot more hardware, gave us full resolution, 4K gaming, and a beautiful HDR image. If you hook up your Xbox One X to a 4K HDR TV, you will not be disappointed. If you enjoyed the video guys, please be the cool kid to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for future content and other unboxings and reviews. And don't forget to write a comment on the section below. I love to hear what you guys have to think. This has been your boy Juan and I hope I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.